Ladies and gentlemen, it has happened. The transition of the SunPath products and SAR news um, is, um, is uh, um, executed successfully. We are at Twin Woods at Twin Woods Adventure, Adventure Park. Joey Jones, you explain that you're home here, Welcome please. everybody. Twin Woods Adventure Park. We're here for, uh, I don't know, the 11th Bedford Challenge. We've got almost 90 teams again. It's going to be great. We got the support of SunPath supported by everybody we really we're looking for a good meet and a good time how you doing Kurt you welcome happy to be here so again how, how is it called Twin Woods Adventure right Twin Woods Adventure which is the former body flight but former body flight Twin Woods Adventure now we've got the rock climbing the shooting the pool and laser center my wife has just opened a full service spa for anybody that needs any uh, spa treatments she, she did my eyelashes by the way <laughs> and um, they've got the climbing wall, the base jump off the roof, they've got all sorts of plans. He's just growing with the times. The number of wind tunnels is, uh, has obviously decreased the amount of business here. I mean, I think there's there's over 15 wind tunnels within a two-hour flight. I think I think it's closer to 17 now. They grow faster than I can keep track. And um, and it's so, so Paul's just changing with the times, doing what he has to do to, to make it work. And um, it's working. Okay, so... We are actually almost in the center of the action here in the winter. Joey, what's the location here right now where we are? Um, we are in the observ observation chamber and uh, I think uh, thunder just got out and we've got Rhythm just now climbing in to make an entrance. They're doing some of their final preparations before they get in. Uh, looks like a 12 maybe off the top of my head, I'm guessing. Yep, 12. Yep, they got into that quick. You know, Bedford's a little different from some of the other tunnels with the way the, way the wind flies, so it's nice to get here and feel the wind. Certain tunnels drop out, especially some of the um, the other designs. Um, I was just at a fly spot a lot, and some of the Sky Venture Divines with the air vents, they drop out. This one actually, when you come in, it surges in the, and it actually increases the drag on the fans. So you actually get you get it sucked up because the fan is coming from the top. And that, that's something that you want to get used to when it comes to setting your speeds and all that stuff. A lot of other tunnels, you come in and you get this woo, and you need to come in with your chest tight. This one, you actually need to come in and, and punch it out just a little bit for that first page. So it's nice to get a few entrances while you're here. SCC Rhythmic Speed. Did you follow the, the competition, the recent competitions a bit? Like, I mean, the Shamrock Showdown was actually the only one where air speed and rhythm were competing with each other. They didn't go to the end or meet this year, yes, It speed. didn't go to the end, and I mean, there's been changes. It's a bit like a, <clears throat> I, it, yeah. I, I've been following the competitions. It's, I mean, to me, this is how it is. It just reminds me of my days on FX. You know, one person leaves, one team goes to another team, and they got to pick up somebody else. What do you make of the new rhythm lineup? Um, I mean, I haven't seen enough of them. They look pretty good, but I haven't seen them under pressure, really. And, it, you know, this, the beauty about this competition is with Thunder and with Wemby and uh, the French girls, and you, you're going to have a lot of teams that are all going to be competing in that same range. So you're going to get pretty... That was a nice, quick transition. And, and, here, and here comes uh, Thunder. This, and is, this is Thunder. Um, I, I couldn't really tell you where they're from. I'm sure they're still fighting over that themselves. It's Belgium. <laughs> no, it's Belgium. I'm, I'm just making a joke. But... Um, the thing, the, the thing about being in America, you, you, you're really stuck with with a lot that lim, you know limited competition. Even in England, Satori beat my team by 20 points, more than 20 points. We hope to lessen that gap. Although this year they're going to make 600 jumps and we're going to make 150. It gets really tough. Even rhythm and airspeed, yeah. There's two top teams. A couple, and, uh, and you've got Carolina, but really you still know who's going to win for the most part. Okay, Joe, here's a quiz. What's the biggest difference between rhythm and thunder? <laughs> okay, I tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna let you answer that because you have the right answer. The answer is, Rith Thunder has had the same lineup for like 10 years, and Rhythm has like 10 lineups in 10, 10 years. 10 years, yes. I, that 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 I can totally see for sure. And here's Thunder again. Let's watch them for a little bit. It's all training, so you know we we um, we're not oh, watching com yeah, competitive with different things, trying out different stuff. Fed messing around with the tunnel, seeing how the wind flies, you know, everything's going good here. Yeah, so Joey, tell us a little bit what's going on with you actually. Uh, well, I'm still based here. Um, unfortunately, I'm having to travel a little bit more just due to the, well, the strength of the pound, this currency that this country has is, uh, is really strong. But I'm having to travel. I'm off in Poland once a month with uh, the Danish team Pangea, and we are looking at doing um, 
you know, well, well over 20 hours of wind tunnel and a, and a couple hundred jumps. I'm off in, a, in a Tesla with them a few times, hoping to take the national team slot if, if we play our cards right. And I'm also working with Energy from Italy again. Um, they've got a pretty decent year. We've made a slot change, just a slight adjustment based on, on, on size and skill sets and all that sort of stuff. A formula is continuing, and we, we're really excited. We, we're, we're now a skydive langer team. We wanna You're not competing at the World Challenge? No, we are not competing at the Challenge. Um, it, uh, on the outdoor side, we are sponsored by Skydive Langer, and uh, I've got a canopy course I'll be organizing at the Boogie. Skydive Langer has been really helpful. But two members of our team and our alternate are all on an indoor team, strictly indoor, which used to be called Fly Like a Girl and is now called Volition. One member is, uh, has pretty much stopped jumping, and she wants to focus on the indoor. And as a team, it wasn't going to be that big of an impact, and we decided to let the girls compete on the indoor. We didn't decide that, but as a team, we decided that they should go for that indoor slot and give um, NT, uh, NF, N, NF, NFTO um, a, a run for their money. You know, give them a fight. Let, let them let them earn that slot for the indoor. And we're and we're hoping to go to Poland with uh, with Volition this year, um, and then Formula will pick up on the outdoor season. So those are my and I'm also still with C C4 who just got a fourth place at the indoor championships I believe in Sweden did really good I also want to make a shout out to uh, Natasha Dingle and um, Mariska Foley out from who just got a single leg gold medal at the Australian Nationals and rode her out for God knows how many times they've won but I believe they did a you know mid high 17 so congratulations to them who just finished the Aussie Nationals I cannot see Joey how you will have any time for the indoor cloud league project that you're also planning well I, I mean I would love to get a cloud league going here I, we have so many scrambles nights. I kind of think it maybe we turn one of those into a cloud night where everybody shows up and all we do is the cloud jumps and um, there'd be some free coaching from, from at, at all the different levels. I could probably get my team involved um, and just try to we come out and you bring your own team and uh, we, we train those jumps. We talk about the um, little in, 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 in the little finer points of each block so that every month you're getting you're getting a real detailed training on these different blocks and over by the end of the year you should have a really good understanding of the whole pool so I think it's a really good idea it's just a matter of implementing it into my busy schedule and getting it out here and uh, and changing that um, the scramble style into a cloud night yeah, it's a whole educational recru recruiting project mostly anyway so it fits into that um, into that big picture there um, so, so what's the, what's the schedule? We we are here now. It is Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Wednesday night. We've got a big day of training tomorrow. I'm, I'll be working with the Portuguese team and the the Volition, the female team, and the, the tunnel's booked. You know, I mean, you couldn't get time if you tried. And everybody's training. And I think they stop around five o'clock to do the last final testings, and then it all kicks off Friday morning. All right. Joey, uh, thank you very much for all that. In, in, more, in yeah. a nutshell, we're going to watch for a few more minutes uh, as long as we have those world-class teams in here. All right. And then uh, I guess we're going to go and have a much, have a glass it. of wine and yeah. maybe a yeah, beer. Enjoy some wine, some beer, and enjoy some four-way. Cheers. Hey, and you can comment that at any time here if you want to, because again, it's a top teams. Yep. Commentary so wanted. Go back and work on that exit. They got a little leg tangle there. It's always one of the things coming into the tunnel because out of the door we do a lot of stork. You can see she's trying to get a, an inside grip so she doesn't get tangled up there. Let's see if they can pull this an N exit right here. Now there she goes. Nice job. It's one of the things you do with the tunnel. The Golden Knight girls were excellent at it. I'm really disappointed they're not going to be here. But they really, with their body sizes and the way they would twist themselves up, they avoided a lot of those tangled up legs that a lot of the, the bigger teams run into when trying to pull out some of these exits intact. Thunder is next. Thunder's coming with more of the un unattached exit where everybody has to hit their spot and then boom and go. One thing I can say, um, due to the fact that the tunnels aren't as busy, Body Flight asked me to help out for a few days, so I got to watch it. But even Hayabusa is taking a lot more intact exits now. They've, they, they've just realized that getting stuff through the door with the grips intact is just providing them a little bit more readiness, especially the flying grips on certain blocks. You know, the, the touch and go grips you can have, but it's really nice to come through that door with a firm grip on that flying hand. On a block like 10, for example, and 6, 
the two grips that you have during the transition of the block, really nice to have firm grips while you're in the door so that as you hit the wind, you can touch and go. As the famous British team from the 96, I believe, touch and go. Well, the grips are catching my attention too. Grips are important, but what catches my attention is those bright white gloves that one of the Thunder team members is wearing there. Well, I mean, it's required to have white gloves at the competition here. I don't know what the quality of the video is, but in the past it hasn't been the best. Tough to get the cameras at the top from that distance. But hopefully, they, I'm sure they're all going to have white gloves because I know they will. They're all they're required. It's but those ones are special. Look at them. Aren't those they? NSL gloves? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? No, oh, they are beautiful. <laughs> all right, that's enough now. It looks like the session is over for now anyway. We got some free flying here now. Joey, thank you very much again. No and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow weekend, let's talk again. NSL, Sunpath. Take care.